Hey everyone, it's Pussy at EctoGames.com here, and today with a little help from Steve Spangler, we're going to do this to a can with only air. So if you remember when we did the Steve Spangler water experiments, we talked about air pressure on how air is pushing all on the outside of the can and all on the outside of us, but we don't feel it. You can imagine air like columns, just giant columns of air going straight up to the very edge of our atmosphere. And air is made out of matter, so it has mass, therefore it weighs something. Air doesn't weigh much at all, but all the air on top of each other, all the way to the very top of the atmosphere, that's gonna weigh a lot. But we don't feel it because number one, we're really used to it. And number two, we have air inside of us, which is pushing, has the same amount of pressure as the air on the outside of us, so it just kind of counterbalances. So we do not feel it. And it's the same with the can. The, the air is all pushing on the outside of the can, all that air, but all, air is also going in the hole. And the air is also, and since there's air in the hole pushing outward, the same as the air is pushing inward towards the middle of the can, it doesn't crush. But we're going to see what happens when we create a vacuum inside it which and take out all the air so there's not, no air inside of the can. And we're going to see what would happen if there's just the outside air. And you could just, you know, stick a little tube in there and take all the air out and make a vacuum, blah, 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 blah. But that would be boring. We're going to use science. So we're going to put two teaspoons of water into the can and then we're going to boil it on our stove. And you should know once water boils, it makes steam, which is the gas form of water. And the steam is running around, is rushing around really fast and filling the can, pushing all the air out. So the air on the out, on the, in the atmosphere is still pushing in, but the steam, it requires less steam because the steam's going around really fast and is more pressury and has more pressure inside of the can. So the steam is also pushing out and the air is pushing in and it's, and it's not going to crush from all the air on the outside pushing into it at once. But then we're going to dump it in cold water and the cold water is going to cool the steam back into like two little tiny drops of water and it's going to go back into the can but since we're plugging up the hole with the cold water it's going to have no way the air has no way to get back into the can and keep it from crushing so let's see what happens to leave it on the stove until you can start he to hear boiling and see steam coming out. And then after that, you're going to wait one more minute before dunking it into the cold water. So I'm going to, I'm going to take the cons, I'm going to grab the can, and I'm going to flip it over and put it into the water. So that's one minute of it steaming. So let's see what happens. So this is how to crush a can with nothing but air. And we didn't even add air pressure to crush it, we took away the air pressure from the inside and now it's crushed this much. And keep in mind, every day while you're walking around doing your own thing, this, the air pressure to enough, this air pressure that can do this is pushing on you. And you're just used to it. You don't even feel anything because it's counterbalancing from the inside plus you're just really used to it. And if we didn't have air pressure or air on the inside of us, this is what we would be like. So I have a couple questions for you guys to answer in the comments below. The first question is, when you go into space, there is no air pressure on the outside of you, but there's still air pressure on the inside of you. What happens to, your, to you? And the second question is, you can see when I took the can out of the bowl, there is still a little bit of water in the can. Why do you think there's water in the can? Post the answers, to those comment answers, post the answers in the comments below. Thank you to Steve Spangler for sending us this book because the experiment we just did was inside of this book. So thank you so much to Steve Spangler for sending this to us. And we're going to be doing tons more of the, experiment, the cool experiments in this book. 
So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.